So, tell us the soccer is here. We want motive in mind to set things rolling, just like with a locomotive. Do you hear this? This, um, the theme for today's event is Silence the Chaos. And with mental, World Mental Health Day um, being a few weeks ago, I found a link between the two. Um, now, these days, a lot more people are starting to realize that mental health affects everyone. And I found that for myself too. A lot of people are going through anxiety, depression, and with social media, everybody's just trying to get ahead and get to the destination, and they don't do much of appreciating the journey. Um, as a filmmaker, I feel the same way. I work really hard, probably weeks on end, but the one day that I'm not doing anything, I go on social media, and I see one of my mates are making an amazing film, and I just think, okay, you know, I have to get up and do it again. I can't take any breaks. Um, for me to actually understand my journey thus far, I think I have to appreciate the steps that got me here. So I'm going to tell you a bit about myself and the little moments that I think define who I am as a filmmaker. I was born in Kaduna in 1994 to a mother that's uh, half Nigerian from Gombe and half Welsh. Um, my father was half Syri is half Syrian and half Nigerian from Kogi State. Um, what does that make me, right? <laughs> I've had to ask that question. I've had to answer that question, I think, all my life. Um, I identify as a Nigerian because I was born here, I was raised here, and to me, this is home. But as I grew older, actually before, while I was quite young, I didn't really see race as a thing because my family was so mixed, race wasn't really a problem. I couldn't see color, believe it or not, because everyone was just mixed. But as I started school, I started to realize things changed because I started being identified by the way that I looked. I was defined by the way that I looked. Um, growing up in Nigeria, I was always the lightest person in the room, the Oyimbo child, the white girl. <laughs> and um, I would always be asked, where am, I, where am I from? I would say Nigeria, but they say, no, but you're half caste or you're mixed race, you're not just from here. And for me, that was annoying because I had to keep going over and over again. Okay, my mom is from here, my dad is from here. And it got quite draining. Um, so I went through that, and as I grew older, I went to school to further my studies in the UK, a small island called the Isle of Man. I think I was sent there because I was naughty, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Um, when I moved there, things changed because I was now the black girl. I was the darkest girl in the room. <laughs> and I thought to myself, okay, I don't belong in Nigeria, I don't belong in the UK, so where am I from, really? Um, looking back now, I see, when I was young, I didn't really understand the complex nature of race. And looking back, I actually see that I was a young girl struggling to find my identity and not quite sure where I belonged. Uh, because of this, I got really insecure, so a lot of the time I wouldn't go out without makeup. I wouldn't even eat in public because I was almost certain that someone was looking at me. And they might not have been looking at me because of my color, but in my head, it was just that reason. And that was a problem. Um, in school, I wasn't really drawn to the maths and the science, so I would just numb all of that out, and I just wasn't so great in that. But when I found film, things changed because I realized I could then study something that I was connecting with. Film as an art form to express myself and my feelings and share my opinions and not be in the forefront. I found a way to express myself and for once people would look at what I was doing and not exactly how I looked and that was a game changer for me. I found a way to express myself, I found a way to say what was on my mind and not be thinking that somebody's looking at me or judging me because of the way I looked, but just because of my talents. And that was really important, being recognized for what I can do and not what I looked like. Um, filmmaking, filmmaking has been a journey for quite a few years now. And the first film, looking back now, the first film that I made, the one that I wrote and directed, was titled Hazel. 
And this was a film about a young biracial girl that was trying to find her identity in a predominantly white community. This said a lot to me about how I was trying to express myself and how I was feeling back then. Because to me, when I first now saw, okay, I can speak through film, that was the first thing I wanted to say loud and clear for people to hear. Stop judging me because of the way that I looked. Um, through the years now, I've used film to speak about terrorism, to speak about politics, to speak about identity and beauty. And for me, it's great because I'm being listened to and I'm actually quite good at it. <laughs> For once I can say, okay, yes, I'm good at something and people are acknowledging that. And that was really good for me. Over the years, film has, over the past two years, film has also been a solace for me. I got married in 2017. And since then, I've also had three pregnancy losses. Now I would have let that define me. I would have gone back into my shell and not really understood where it is that I'm going. But in the past two years, I've also made the best work yet. I um, produced and directed a short film, I'm Not Corrupt, which went viral. I directed and produced my first documentary, Marks, which is about tribal marks and scarifications in Nigeria that has been recognized nationally and internationally. <laughs> also been working on some works that I'm really proud of and I launched Nyla Foundation which was a safe space for people like me to speak up about how they feel. So throughout my journey and throughout my insecurities, film has always, always been the constant in my life. It's always been the thing that I run to to feel comfortable, to feel safe and for me that's a big deal. Finding something in my life that I can do and make money from but also feel comfortable doing it and I love what I do. I may not be, or I may want to be the best young Nigerian to come, the best young filmmaker to come out of Nigeria, or the youngest director to win an Oscar. But for me, it's not about the destination, but it's about the focus and the consistency in my journey that will determine whether I get there or not. Um, I guess you can say I've silenced the chaos in my mind because I now know who I am and I'm no longer defined by how I look or people judging me because of that, but because I can actually speak up through my arts. Thank you.